Okay, so in this AIDA demo, we're going to show you how to explore some of the provenance graph um, that AIDA stored when carrying out calculations. This is a simple function that we define, which just calls a couple of, uh, well, one Verdi command and then uh, a bash command in order to generate a PNG uh, that represents the, the graph that AIDA stored in the backend database. So what we'll do first is just get a list of the calculations that AIDA knows about that have been carried out. This simple Verdi command just gives us that full list and we can just choose one of them because it's an example. I'm just going to choose the one uh, with the PK4811. So that's up here somewhere. Yeah, up here, this failed calculation. And I'll go ahead and call that function that I defined at the beginning. So that's created the actual file for us. And now I'm just going to use a command uh, that Jupyter allows us um, to show PNGs in line. OK, so what we have here in blue is the actual target calculation. You can see the PK maybe there. It's written quite small. The status, it failed. But on top of that, we see all of its inputs. And we see further layers up. So for example, this it, there was a structure that was used uh, in this PW calculation. That structure itself came from another calculation further up the provenance graph, which itself, of course, had certain inputs along with a code and so on. So if we actually go into that uh, node, we can get it. And we can also directly programmatically see its inputs. So I've loaded the node, uh, assigned it to this variable calc. I've listed its inputs. So that shows us uh, basically a list which contains tuples of the label. You can see the labels in the image. And we're just printing the PKs or in, in the UUIDs of the individual nodes. And you can see the two correspond, the image and um, the inputs that we've loaded here. So then we can go and grab the structure that was used in that calculation by saying, calculation, give me your inputs, give me your structure. And we can look at that structure directly. So I'm just going to call the same uh, generate graph command uh, using the PK of that structure this time and show it. So here we see the provenance graph from the point of view of that structure. So we've got that failed calculation as, as one of the outputs, if you like, of the structure. It was also used in a different calculation uh, subsequently, which finished. But on top of that, it itself was generated by the PW calculation that we saw before. So in this way, we can get uh, we can really build up a view of what AIDA sees uh, was the provenance for that structure. We can uh, now programmatically get the inputs. So you see it's just uh, got one because it was an applet structure of a calculation. Uh, something else that we can do is um, we want, if we want to see all of the structures in our, in our database at the moment, we can use a Verdi command. So here we see a list of uh, the IDs and the formulae of, of the structures that we have in our entire database, at least for the current user. And just to show you, so this is a, maybe a different way that you might go before we went for a calculation. This way, maybe we go for some data, in this case, a structure data. So we'll randomly choose one of them, 4684, which is up here. It's one of the SIO2 structures. And we'll generate the graph for that. Here we see we've got a structure that was used in a uh, relaxation calculation which finished successfully. So let's load that calculation up and get its uh, the output parameters from that calculation. So effectively this is what uh, Quantum Espresso uh, gives us back uh, from that calculation. The other thing you can do is, uh, these are all visual ways to do it, but if you don't have access to uh, X forwarding or some of the tools used to actually generate these, plot, these images, you can just view it in ASCII. So there's a Verdi command for that. Verdi work tree. If I give it the PK, that generates an ASCII version of what we've shown above. So you see we've got a PW calculation, which has a series of outputs and the corresponding PKs. So that was a demo of how to quickly view both uh, graphically and using ASCII uh, some of the aspects of the provenance graph that AIDA stores.